All right, breaking tonight, a report. It should scare every American. It's about the integrity of our electoral process. A new video released undercover, Project Veritas, laying out evidence of ballot harvesting fraud and in a local race in, a, in Congresswoman Omar's district in Minnesota. Now, what you're about to see is an apparent scheme where campaign workers would, if in fact this is proven, be illegally gathering ballots uh, from the elderly and allegedly, we always believe in the presumption of innocence on this program, committing acts of voter fraud. Now, Fox News has not independently verified the contents of the video. We'll let you look and you can decide. Numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. What did the Gary Guabu ha? What has what absent ballot? Sankayal, so much did it. Fury, what has what so much did it? Guabu ha Gary Guabu Kayal. There was video, you could see the video. There was a video out and about that he has the ballots in his car, right? And talking about the only way you can win is with money. I was looking at them and they were not filled, they were blank. Who is the one filling out the absentee ballots? People who work uh, with, like, in Han Omar. Where do they pay the money? The, the minute we sign the thing, the election, and that's what you get paid. Money is everything. Money is the key in this world. If you ain't got money, you should, you should not be here, period. At the end of this street, yes. there's three towers called one towers. Okay. And it's all seniors, and they took every ballot. Every ballot. They just every take them from them. Every single ballot. Knock on the door and say, your ballots come, give it to me, give it to me. They don't even pay them for it. They just take it. Now, we did reach out to Congresswoman Omar's office for comment. They downplayed the findings, saying it was, quote, coordinated right-wing campaign. But breaking tonight... The Minneapolis police, according to FoxNews.com, say they are investigating this alleged scheme, which is just one instance of alleged voter fraud around the country. For example, the Heritage Foundation. Well, they have chronicled 1,285 proven cases of voter fraud in America. Nearly 1,000 people convicted. Recently in New Jersey, one city councilman, three others charged in mail-in voter fraud schemes. Right here in New York, the New York Post did an interview with a Democratic operative who spent a career committing mail voter fraud. Here with reaction, he is the CEO, founder of Project Veritas. James O'Keefe, welcome back, sir. Thank you for being with us. Thanks so, for having me on, Sean. Look at my car. My car is full. He's talking about ballots. When do you get paid? You get paid after you fill out the ballot. That would seem pretty damning before my eyes, Mr. O'Keefe. Yeah, this is, Sean, this is in, incontrovertible evidence. The first time we've ever actually seen the deed being done on tape. The media says there's no evidence. Even the director of F the FBI last week said there's no evidence of voter fraud. Well, there you have it. It's a state crime. You can't even have more than three ballots in your possession in Minnesota. And it's a federal crime because this guy was going around residential buildings in Minneapolis pressuring people for these ballots, taking them away from the elderly. Sean, this is the story that may change things. It's all on tape. They can no longer deny it. Okay, now we do know the Minneapolis Police Department is investigating this. Any reaction to that? Because as you pointed out, just today we got 300 for Jamal Osman. Uh, he said, I have 300 ballots in my car right now. Numbers don't lie. My car is full. All here are absentee ballots. That's what they're saying on tape. Yeah, I mean, this is this is clearly a violation of the law. We, we reached out to the county attorney. They told us it was illegal, but it's not just the state law. It's the federal law. Uh, President Trump uh, asked the U.S. attorneys to investigate, Sean. This is a violation of, uh, of federal law to 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 vote, filling out blank ballots to pay people to vote. This is what the ballot harvesters were on tape and our video saying. They were told to vote for Ilhan Omar. This is an open secret in this Somali community in Minneapolis. No one has ever told the story because no one could get access to the community. But the people felt like they were victims. They felt like someone needed to tell their story. We gave them hidden cameras and they, we recorded all these ballot harvesters, not just Levon, but other people on the tape, saying that they line people up, bring them into the polls and vote <coughs> for them. This is a systemic thing happening up there. And just this one guy in a car with 300 ballots, that was one day. Right. So, so this is Where, the first time we've ever seen this before, Sean, and people need to and investigate. They can go to, people can see the whole tape of themselves on projectveritas.com, uh, is it? 
people want to look at it? Yeah, projectveritas.com. Right. And if you're an insider, it's Veritas Tips at protonmail.com. That's how we got the hidden camera in the community. I hope the Attorney General of the United States is watching tonight and will watch that video. All right, James O'Keefe, thanks for sharing this important news. We need to get to the truth. We'll continue.